Garrett and I are about to do a two night, three day backpack through the Grand Tetons. I had this idea a while ago because Garrett is working at Yellowstone National Park at Old Faithful. So we just drove down here for a long weekend-ish. Mm -hmm. Luckily, we were able to pick up some backcountry permits. It was close, they were running out. Mm -hmm. Change your plans just a little bit. Yeah, should be fun. I'll get some good shots of the mountain here. Right now we're hiking up Cascade Canyon Trail. We're probably about two or three miles in. We have probably about seven more miles to go. Look how beautiful this is. We had an absolute baller of a time last night. We went up to a ridge for cocktail hours and then had uh, some good old freeze-dried food dinner. Last night, we heard this big boom, and we're like, uh-oh, and we ran outside, and as it started a downpour, we had to put on a rain tarp. That was good fun. Uh, didn't get too wet. Uh, this morning, we packed up, and now we are off. Feeling good. Fundamentally, the way that Garrett and I backpack is different than what I was just doing on the PCT. We are kind of backpack glamping. We have a lot of food. And we're only going like 10 miles a day. So there's a lot of just like hanging out in camp and eating food. That being said, our backpacks are significantly heavier. The bear canister, I'm carrying right now probably weighs like 15 pounds with all the food in it which is like almost the same weight as my backpack my entire backpack on the PCT freaking crazy so right up here there is a moose next to the trail um, fun fact about mooses they will charge humans and uh, if you fall on the ground they will leave you alone come back and try to kill you again. Mooses are like one of the only animals known to double tap. Right back over here is Lake Solitude. We went for a swim, had some salmon and bagels, um, a wild gummy bear. And over here is where we spent our first night camping. Um, 
a little hazy, I think because the smoke is rolling in. Um, views were better earlier. Views were a little bit better earlier. That's it, that's all I got. Yeah. Slow and steady up this giant hill. Right up there's the pass. It's only like a couple, like three more miles until we can get all the way over the pass and to the campsite, but it's gonna get a little bit more steep and a little bit more windy until then. Paintbrush Canyon! <laughs> Just walking across this pass right behind us, we had some like 35 probably mile per hour winds and both Garrett and I were basically crawling. You can't see it right now, but howling. Oh boy. And I really don't want to go down that cliff, so really glad to have my poles. That's a shortcut I really don't want to take. That's a shortcut I really don't want to take. This is our campsite for the second night. Absolutely gorgeous. This is the morning. Totally forgot to do any videoing yesterday evening, but it was just as pretty. That's a little kitchen area over there, and this is where our tent was last night. Gorgeous. A person just came up the trail and told us that there is a bear down here right next okay, to the trail. This is what I saw yesterday, dude. I what don't know that? what it was, but it has a big black tail. Looks like a goddamn cat almost. Bobcat? But it's oh, this right there. big. Right there, right there. I can see his head. Is it a beaver? Oh. Right here, right here. Look, look, look. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a marmot. It's just a large marmot. Right there. He's looking at us right now. That's 100% a marmot. Oh, yeah. You chubby pap excuse for a beaver. Freaking did it.